Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking runner beans and potatoes the Spanish way. So let's begin. And for today's lunch I'm going to accompany it with some boiled eggs and boiled chorizos. So I'm going to start off by peeling three garlic cloves. And I'll put them there for now. You can use more if you like, or less. It's your choice. And I need to sharpen this knife. Um, I'm going to slice them up. Way. Right, so let's put them in here. There you go. Next, I'm going to peel the potatoes. And there you go. Now, we're going to slice them. In about one centimeter slices like that and we're going to put them in a pot so here we have them on to the next step which is to have a sip of wine and wish everyone a good day cheers right so I've got my runner beans here that I bought yesterday so what I will do I will show you how you prepare them if you don't know. So I cut the edges off and normally you can take a bit of hair out, you know, it's like a, a thin strip, but not always. It doesn't always come out, you know. So what I'll do is, because they're big, I just cut them in two and these, we will wash them before chucking them in with the potatoes. So let's do it. So these are washed and cut in half. So I'll just chuck them in there with the potatoes. And I will add salt to my own liking. And fill this with water. Right, so this is covered with water. So what I'll do next is turn the stove on and I'll whack it on to the highest and wait for it to boil and in the meantime I've got a small pan here in which I'm going to put in the chorizos, mini chorizos today, spicy ones and some eggs and I'll just cover that with water and add some salt and I'll put it here I don't know if you can see, just about, I'll put it there and I'll turn the heat on and, put it, and cook it for about 15 minutes. This pan here, what I'll do is put the garlic in there and I'll add some olive oil about five tablespoons new bottle I got nine euros fifty what are the what a disgrace so I'll wait for this to start doing its magic I'll be back right this is starting to boil so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to turn it down a notch to number 8 and I'm going to boil this for 15 minutes and this is nearly done obviously this is not part of the recipe some pork chops would be a good choice 
but I'm having chorizo because I'm a chorizo addict. In fact, I love chorizo so much that I'm gonna have some as an aperitif with my wine. Cheers. Right, so 15 minutes have gone by. Cool, that is hot. And this is ready. Potatoes are done. And the runner beans are perfect al dente. Just how I like them. So the next step will be, let's turn everything off. I'm going to take the water out of that. Okay, I've taken the water out. And now I'm going to gently brown the garlic in the olive oil that I had here prepared from earlier on. So let's wait for that. Okay, so these garlic cloves are browned off. Um, if you wanted to, now is the time that you could add a teaspoon of paprika and add a little bit of water and mix it about and then add it onto there. But I'm going to do it the traditional way, which will be, let's, this is a bit complicated this, is to add the olive oil and the garlic onto the beans, runner beans and potatoes and just give it a mix, mix it all about. The potatoes are a bit too much done, they look, is that I've changed potatoes and these are a bit rubbish for boiling, I've just found out. They just break, they dissolve, they disintegrate. Okay, let's serve it up on the dish. And here's the result. Delicious meal, nice and filling. Well, yeah, I know it looks a bit crappy, you know, but it's the taste that matters, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching today's video. I look forward to doing my next one. Thanks again. Cheers and goodbye.